Do you want to learn how to do this effect? I bet you do. So today I'm gonna teach you how to do it. It's really simple and easy to do. Listen to this video till the end. I'm gonna guide you through the whole process of making this effect and you'll be good to go. This effect is only possible with the mixed media paint pack created by 2 by Gus. So to have access to this pack, you'll have to click on the link in my description and it will send you to his website called the Friendly Files. Once you're there, what you'll have to do is simply add the pack to your card. As you can see, there is a huge sale going on, so don't waste any more time. So add the pack to your card and once you're there, just go to the checkout. And once you're there, before buying anything, what you'll have to do is simply enter the code BLURZY. Apply the code and this will give you $5 off and this is actually a huge deal because the pack is worth more than that price. Now that you have your pack set up and that you're on Premiere, what you're gonna have to do is simply go to the essential graphics section and as you can see I got all of these different looks from the pack. You wouldn't have all these looks automatically so what you're gonna have to do to add them is simply click on the plus and search where your files are located at and click on mixed media presets and just add each of these looks one one by one inside of the essential graphics section once that is done what you can do is simply drag and drop your clip i want to add the effect to this little section right there right click and make a subsequence this will give me a subsequence right there so what i'm gonna do is simply delete everything gonna drag and drop a look inside of my timeline and as you can see it's a little bit overscaled so what i'm gonna do is simply scale it down a little bit here you go and now this is the control panel where, where everything is customizable so what we're gonna do first is simply replace this green screen by the actual footage so go to footage go to replace footage and simply drag and drop and as you can see the green screen has been replaced now to scale it down just play with these settings right there and as you can see everything is really customizable you got the paper chic settings you can change the frequency the amplitude you got the main overlay that you can actually change the brightness you can make it all the way white or you can also change the color if you want you can change you can change its position its scale you can change pretty much everything. Everything is customizable and it is why this pack is so much valuable. Everything is customizable. And you can also replace the overlays right there. So if you don't like this overlay too much, simply drag and drop and simply play with the settings to have the desired effect. I'm just going to keep it blue and I'm just going to move it to the left. And just, this is just a simple example. You can do this with the second overlay also. There's so much you can do with it. You can turn it on and you also can turn it off and to see the final result of this all you have to do is simply click on enter to render all of the frames and here's the final result this is really clean now this was a simple example and if you want more complexity there's another technique that i'm gonna show you that you can do in after effects so let's do it so now we're back for the second technique so now what you're gonna have to do is simply right click on this clip and click on replace with after effects composition once that your after effects is open what you're gonna have to do is simply go crazy with your imagination so what I'm gonna do now is simply make a simple roto brush effect and I'm gonna put some overlays of the pack behind Coach Eyes. So what I'm gonna do now is simply duplicate the clip. I'm just gonna start roto brushing. The roto brush doesn't have to be perfect, obviously. So this is done. You can go back to your main composition and just place everything together. And now you can start adding your effects. So now all I'm gonna do is pre-comp the roto brush. Okay. And now what I'm gonna do is um, a simple back effect. I'm gonna add a gradient and I'm just gonna duplicate this effect all over again. And I'm gonna add a huge overlay behind Coach Eyes. So now I'm simply gonna drag and drop a spark fire overlay from the pack. And I'm gonna scale it down like that. And I'm gonna put it behind Coach Eyes like so. And I am going to add another one also behind Coach Eyes. So as you can see, it looks pretty rough, but with the addition of the mixed media paint pack, this will all look like a masterpiece. So just save this, go back to Premiere. So now just clean, you, clean up your timeline and simply import the look that you want to import. Make sure to scale it down if it's too big for your composition. Now go to footage, replace footage and just simply drag and drop the thing that you modified in After Effects and click on enter to render the final product. So this is how it finally looks. It's pretty insane what you can do with this pack. And I got another bonus technique for you guys and this technique is really insane. I think it's my favorite one if I'm being honest. So the bonus technique is really simple. All you have to do is simply put two of the clips together. We're gonna put all of the painting assets and put it inside of our media browser. Just click on OK. Now we're gonna add a simple transition. 
I'm gonna put a vertex right there okay and I'm just gonna put it in difference so here's the final result So this is one way of doing mixed media in a couple of minutes so consider buying this pack because it's worth it it will save you a lot of time and it contains a lot of value go over for this video and don't forget to click on the link in my description to buy this pack and use my code blurzy to not miss the promo and if you like the video just leave a like leave a comment subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends and see you in another video